So what I was doing with the short story was looking at a very uh, secret way that war often afflicts um, its victims, and especially the female victims, which is this very intimate way in which women become sort of the spoils that go to the victor. Um, and so I wrote this little story and sent it out to a whole bunch of literary magazines in the late 90s, I want to say. And that was basically all I did then was um, teach classes at Boston University and teach classes at Grub Street Writers in Boston. And then by night, like write voluminous amounts of short stories and send them out. And the Briarcliff Review picked up the short story, Those Who Save Us, and Trisha Currents Sheehan and, and Phil Hay um, took it for the magazine like instantly, like days after I had sent it out, which never happens. I mean, never, right? And the encouragement of having Briarcliff pick up this story was just gave me goosebumps. It, it, I can't even express how much that meant to have the story picked up and picked up so quickly um, and published so beautifully, like the reviews. I mean, look at it, it's gorgeous. It's one of the highest end uh, literary magazines out there. It's a, each one is a work of art. And after uh, the story was, was taken, I thought, oh, I think there's a book in this. I kind of had a feeling about those who save us um, that I have about like 5% of what I write. I would say maybe you know 90% of what I write is capable. That's probably a pretty high number, um, but it's it, you know it's working like it gets the job done. 5% is absolute crap that you can't do anything with. You can't recycle it. It just goes to the cutting room floor. And then 5% has a sort of electricity in it that you just think this is going to hit. Like you hear a song on the radio for the first time, and you think that's going to be a hit. It's a hit. I had that feeling about that short story, and so once I had the encouragement of the review and that backing. Um, one morning I woke up, and this will sound dramatic, but I, I had the whole story in my head, and I felt like Beethoven, like I was like, staggering around my apartment, you know, pulling my hair, going, oh my god, there's a whole book in my head. 